I was a child, I was taken a lot to uh, circuses, pantomimes, and theatre. So when I got home, I, I used to do lots of drawings of it, you know, in my mind, uh, out of my imagination. And I think that's always um, remained with me. I want to capture the moment before it turns into something else so that when you're looking at it, you can somehow see what was going to happen next. I'm looking for that special moment. I don't like it to be static, as if that's the end, that's the finish. I want them to be going on, dancing. Well, I think it's because I, I just, you know, it's like um, using your eye as a camera, as a camera shutter. You just click. <laughs> and it's, it's, even though the movement's gone, you've, you've captured it. It's, it's in your mind, really. So it's, it's developing a kind of visual memory of what you're looking at and just putting it down at the right moment. And how do you put it down? How do I put it down? Um, well, I, it's, it's, it's a bit like living, living dangerously, really. <laughs> I look a lot first before I start doing anything, you know, just absorb it all until the time is right to start. Okay, stop for a second. <laughs> it's like when, when you see a dancer in the wings waiting for the music and you feel you know they're just waiting for that moment when when the the music starts and that's really almost what it is yeah you're doing like you're doing your foot not turning it out and then your arms are going once you've started then you know you're away and you just keep keep on hopefully keep on going <laughs> keep the back arm the line of the leg try again david to lead into that please Okay. Fill in. Fill in the music.
tiny, tiny bore. Yeah. Okay, fine. All right. Jeanette, when you're doing the preparation for your pirouette, be very careful that you're, you're filling out the music more. You're still doing very much, very flat, and it needs to have more movement in it, yeah? And then the last arabesque, when you come down your leg, the back arm is very, very high. You're almost covering his face, and you're only in an arabesque. Just do the arabesque, pirouette into the arabesque. When I'm actually drawing these people, I really feel that I'm, I'm doing what they're doing in, in my mind. So it's quite a tiring uh, experience. I go down the leg and now back arm lower, so not too low. You've really got to, to know that you're going to do lots of really duff drawings, yeah. okay. uh, which Fine. you can discard later. Do. It's quite like limbering up, really. Okay, uh, Jeanette, do you want to do your solo? But you mustn't be afraid of doing something that isn't working. What I do, I just go on to the next page. I mean, I, I leave something, I won't, I won't labour it, I'll just leave it and go on to something else. So that you keep a continuous flow. That's the main thing, is keep a continuous flow. particularly like uh, brush and ink because it, it flows so quickly, you know, the way it moves across the paper. I think a brush particularly has a, a very springy quality. You can vary the thickness and the thinness of the line so that if you really want to put a, a bold stroke in somewhere and, and a thin stroke, you can do it almost as a continuous line. It's almost like three-dimensional, but, you know, with a few lines. I've just use your feet. It's a very exciting medium to use, really, because you don't really quite know what you're going to end up with. Well, I think it's what, what you don't say in it. It's the spaces, you know, the spaces that you leave so that you, you, whoever or whoever's looking at it can fill those spaces in, as it were, and, and, and it, it just gives it that extra sort of bite, you know. It's, um, it's got a, a, a spatial quality and, and it, it moves, and that, that's what I, I always want to get. I mean, I, I feel it when I'm drawing. I can sort of feel the movement of dancers or people in action, athletes or whatever, but especially dancers. I'm refining all the time. I, I'm distilling it, as it were, until it's, it's just the essence that's left. I mean, I have done drawings with literally just one line. I mean, I know that's, that's a bit daring, really, a bit cheeky, really, just one line, but um, I know what I was looking at, and, and sometimes people, other people could, if they, know, if they know what I've been drawing, they can see that, but I mean, I, I, I don't, I haven't got totally abstract, I mean, there's got to be something, something to hang on to, as it were.
I like this one the best, really, because it's got the most movement in it, the maximum movement. And also, very important, the dancers liked it very much. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just finish it off a little bit more and put one little wash of colour on them. The particular ballet that they were doing today is, is a very, very colourful pas de deux, and, and I always see it in very brilliant colour, so I can't resist just putting a little spot of colour on it. But not too much, because I don't want to lose the freedom. I think I do take a bit of artist license. I mean, I do make their legs a bit longer. <laughs> I do extend their hands and their arms. I think somehow you, you must really express something else, as well as just the proportions, and I think that does come out. To know. me, it looks as though you're trying to express what the dancers are trying to achieve ideally. Yes, I think that's true, because they, they look at the drawings, and they're terribly critical. They, they just come and look and say, oh, I don't think I really look like that. I haven't got that, that wonderful leg that you've drawn, but, but I like it, and it's, uh, that's what I'd, li I'd, like to, I'd like to be able to do that. And somehow, I, I don't want to, to, to idealise them too much, but somehow the, the, it's the way I, I see them. I mean, I, I've always absolutely loved Degas, and there's a particular drawing there that I think says a lot about the sort of way an artist tries to capture something before the, the subject moves, before the model moves. I mean, I suppose I like to imagine that he hoped that, you know, she wasn't going to move. She was standing there for quite a long time. Um, but then, inevitably, she moved, so he, he just put the sketch in the skirt and the... It, it, again, it gives it this very light quality, you know, like the skirt fluttering in the breeze. I like Toulouse Lautrec's drawings of the circus. I mean, I was brought up going to circuses and pantomimes, and the way Toulouse Lautrec portrays the, the movement of the horse going around the ring there and the circus, you know, the ringmaster and the atmosphere. It, you can almost like smell the circus there. That's what I like about it. So I've, I think I've been inspired by other people. Picasso with those just absolutely the, the minimum of the line that he uses and, and he just expresses so much, you know, in, in one line. A, a very thick brush stroke can say something really rather delicate that's the paradox, really. It, it's got this wonderful continuous movement. The, the way those dancers are moving around in a circle, and really there are so few lines, and they're very bold lines, but somehow it's got a, a, a wonderful stately look about it. And I, and I love the way he's, he's drawn the dove above, which is really an enormously thick line on that wing, but yet it's, it's soaring above the dancers and it just gives it this wonderful unity. I just had a phone call out of the blue from, from the BBC um, when the Falklands War was, was really, had, had been going about two or three weeks and someone rang me up and asked me if, if I'd like to do some drawings for the for the news programs and uh, I said well do you know the sort of work I do because I this came out of the blue and I said um, I, I draw figures and I specialize in ballet and to me that doesn't sound like something that that you'd find very useful and so they said, well, no, we, we really like the way that you draw movement. We've seen some of your drawings. Someone at uh, the BBC has shown us some of your drawings, and we really want to capture some action. The only group of three planes to penetrate San Carlos Bay were all shot down. At half past midnight, the so-called starting line was crossed simultaneously in three places. 
low clouds, high winds, constant freezing driving rain. They dug themselves into trenches that were filled with water within a few hours. The lucky men managed shelter in the sheep pens. Not the Falkland Islands, but the Army's training ground in Norfolk, where recruits to the Coldstream Guards face the start of the fifth day of their gruelling final exercise. The feeling was a very, a very strange, eerie atmosphere, and I think this is the the atmosphere I was conveying in the drawings. The dance and the ballet, ink and brush, is a very, very good medium for me because it flows like the dance. Once I've done it, I've done it. With the soldiers, um, I needed a different medium. I chose charcoal to draw the, the soldiers because charcoal has a very abrasive quality that uh, I can get down on the paper very quickly and it's almost got a, a quite a sort of savage, masculine quality. You can get a very good contrast and you can, you can actually smudge it and get the feeling of, of smoke and atmosphere. The soldiers here are very strong images and I need a strong medium. I'm drawing on a tinted paper with a nice rough texture. So again, the charcoal goes very beautifully on this rough texture paper. It gives it a bite that you can really 
move, move the charcoal around like um, give it give it a, a sort of lovely texture which is necessary for this kind of atmosphere that I'm I'm trying to convey in this picture I'm drawing under extremely you could say tense circumstances Well, they're not exactly finished works that I'm doing at the moment. I will do some more work on them. But some of them, I think, are I want to leave just as they are. It just captures the moment. I'm following the, the, the action. I'm, I'm almost feeling that I'm in it, which, which I like. I like the, the excitement of it, which is all part of... The, the, the work that I do is, is on movement, as, as you saw when I was doing the, the drawings on the ballet. And although this isn't entertainment, obviously, it's alive and it's going on and I'm part of it and, and I feel I'm putting it down while it's happening. I think drawing 
for me is something very exciting. I always feel that I get carried, carried along when I'm drawing and it's something really you just get, one just gets lost in. So you just have to keep going on and perfecting as much as you can and looking all the time at real things rather than in the imagination. It's like a, a passion really.